When your on-screen life starts at the age of nine months and big fame reaches you shortly after, this huge popularity is likely to be followed by huge problems. When people confuse us on the set, they'd have to pay us two dollars. Well, we got a lot of money. Today's talk is about the beloved Olsen sisters that took Hollywood by storm, even before they lost their milk teeth. Oh no, what do we do now? I don't know, but it's gonna have to be something major. As years were passing by, we started learning what those smiling faces of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen were hiding. Physical health, mental issues, a link to Heath Ledger's death. You are about to learn what the Olsen sisters, and Mary-Kate in particular, have to do with everything we just mentioned. But before we continue, subscribe to our channel for exciting celebrity stories every day. I love you. It was the girl's mother, Jarney, who got their acting career started. She sent in the photo that landed their role on Full House. But so, and Full House is still on. I know that people still watch the show to this day. Like, you know, my producer Mary's daughter watches every single day, every time it's on, and people love the show still. No, it's incredible. Yeah. Um. It is believed, however, that the sisters' financial success was the cause behind their parents' divorce in 1995. Jarney didn't want them to be millionaires, aged just seven. The Lifetime film blamed the money and fame issue for Jarney's divorce from Dave Olsen. I didn't get rich by being stupid. Mary Kate and Ashley remained with their mom and felt heartbroken after the divorce, reports said, with reference to a family friend who added the split had left them shaken. Mom, this one's for you. It is possible to allege that the traumatic situation might have caused Mary Kate's diagnosis some years later, which is attention deficit disorder. While attending New York University, Mary Kate was very candid about her condition, reporting, I got extra time to take the test because of my ADD. Everybody's brains work differently, and I just need longer for things to register. It was one of the disorders the young star had to deal with. The other one turned out to be more public and widely followed by the media. Shortly before the twins' 18th birthday, Mary Kate was admitted to rehab following her longtime battle with anorexia. It was her family that initially noticed the problem and started monitoring the girl's food intake when she was 16. Within a two-year period, the disorder was growing severe, and Mary-Kate's dad decided to act fast and to have his daughter involuntarily admitted to a rehab facility in 2004. Even after the girl returned from rehab, outlets kept buzzing about Mary-Kate being, quote, too skinny for years. In 2008, something else happened to the already former child star, and again it was Mary-Kate. The actor Heath Ledger was found dead today in an apartment here in New York City. He was just 28 years old. After actor Heath Ledger, Mary Kate's friend, was found dead from a drug overdose, federal authorities wanted to talk to Mary Kate about how he had gotten the drugs that killed him. She reportedly refused to cooperate with investigators unless she was granted immunity. Why so serious? The reason for posing such a request, some speculated, was that some of the drugs were allegedly provided by Mary Kate, or that she could have knowledge of how Ledger illegally obtained OxyContin. However, Mary Kate eventually escaped the interrogation, as the feds abruptly closed the case without questioning her. So, the mystery behind Ledger's possession of illegal drugs remains unsolved. As for the girls' careers, it didn't go so well after Full House ending. Both acted in several movies, and Mary Kate was even nominated for an Emmy. But after the disastrous New York Minute, Ashley quit acting to focus on her business she shared with her sister. The row started as kind of a little side project for Mary Kate and I, and um, it started with a t shirt. And it was um, the concept of a very well draped t shirt with the best fabric that you could wear back to your other kind of designer brands. Mary Kate didn't seem to miss acting a lot too, as she didn't look back at her childhood experience fondly, referring once to herself and sister as to little monkey performers. While Ashley noted, I look back at the things that we did and the clothes that we wore and I think, wow, we really were troopers. It was almost like I was in the army. For the past several years, TV audiences have gotten reacquainted with the extended Tanner family, with Netflix's highly watched sitcom Fuller House that features most of the original cast. The question that is hanging in the air is, why haven't the Olsen sisters made any appearance on the show, and will they ever do so? Both Mary-Kate and Ashley declined to take part in the revival. Both are not comfortable with returning to the world of acting. Instead, they are focusing on fashion business. 
So we have this beautiful yellow color, and then also we did a lot of the corduroy with the patchwork and the brown python. And we did this cape. You just feel it, and it's so soft. That's all we wanted to tell you today. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. What do you hope people would say about you after you die? That I've inspired someone to do something great, and that I've been a good friend. That's it. <laughs>